the player circle. What's up, players? It's your boy Miguel here. Welcome back to TPC Weekly Roundup, episode number 23, where we highlight the biggest games and stories of the previous week. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell to stay all the way in the loop of everything player circle. If you're a faithful subscriber, appreciate you. Let's get into it. New York guards are known for scoring the rock. But what 2021 guard Jaquan Carlos out of Brooklyn has been doing is utterly insane. First, he breaks the school record at Thomas Jefferson High School with 73 points. He then follows that up with a 91 point performance. Yes, 91. And as I'm recording this right now, I got word he scored 90 points again. Word is he could have scored 100, but the officials kept the clock running. Now Jaquan is committed to play a high show this fall and blame this current tier he's on as making up for the lost season due to COVID-19. Sheesh, keep doing your thing, player. Crossing the bridge to Jersey, we saw Zion Cruz fresh off an impressive showing at the Pango South American camp, suit up at a Patrick school at the Beat the Clack tournament. The Celtics took on freshman stud Nas Cunningham and Gil St. Bernard. It was an epic battle between the two, with Cruz and Cunningham trading 30-point performances. If you're not in tune with Cunningham yet, get on it ASAP. My man Justin from New Jersey Hoover Crew says he's a future five-star recruit without a doubt. Last week, we told you about the upcoming matchup between Sierra Canyon and Corona Centennial for the Open Division Championship, and it did not disappoint. The two squads battled in front of a packed gym with celebrities like LeBron, Drake, and Chief Keith sitting courtside. Corona Centennial went on to win the game 80-72, to with Colin Boswell scoring a team-high 26 points. Now, you know Colin is big TPC family. So I hit him up directly to hear all about it firsthand. Check out our conversation. What's up, players? This your man Miguel Rodriguez here. And I got my guy, big TPC fan, Colin Boswell. How you feeling, brother? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great, man. So let's get straight into it, man. You guys just are fresh off the Open Division Championship. Play Sierra Canyon at Sierra Canyon. Braun was in the building. Drake was in the building. Chief Keith was in the building. What was it like playing in that atmosphere? Um, honestly, when we were at the game, I didn't even notice that LeBron and Drake walked in. Uh, we were so locked in. But coming into this game, throughout practice, we were dialed in, going over serious sets, going over what we need to execute during the game. Went on the court and we did that. And uh, when I moved from Champaign to out here, I knew that's what was going to happen at big high school games like this. I've been playing with Clay Thompson, Isaiah Thomas, Mike James, Alex Caruso throughout the summer. So mm-hmm. I just wanted to show everybody that I was worthy and that I belonged in the situation. Right, right, right. So let me ask you about that. So a lot of kids, they see the 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 a team USA mini camp invite. They see you, you know, winning championships. What what was what's the preparation like for that? Um, something I would say is just keep training. Like you have to perfect your craft every day. Um, even times where I don't want to get up, I don't want to work out. Uh, you got to take care of your body, eat right, sleep, so just in the gym, working out, doing what you need to do. All right, let's go back to the game real quick. So you had a team high 26 points. What did you see out there gameplay wise? And, you know, what was the what was the strategy going into the game? Uh, coming to the game, we knew Amar Bailey was the guy. We were trying to stop, stop him in transition, try to stop Sierra in transition. Uh, we try to eliminate their shooter out of the game as possible as we can. We knew that would hurt us. And, um, and coming into the second half, we saw that they were in a 2-3 zone, and that's, that's target practice for me and Jared. Um, you know, hitting our shots, uh, taking the lead, maintaining the lead, and doing what we do, doing whatever we need to do on the court for us to get the win. Okay, sounds good, man. So I know this summer you're running with Team Why Not on the EYBL circuit. Uh, what could we look forward to, Colin Boswell and Team Why Not? Uh, a show. That's definitely. <laughs> we have a stacked team this year. We know that we're going to be a really good team to compete with throughout the Peach Jam and Nike YBL session. So just looking for a show when we step on the court. All right. There you have it, players. Colin, Colin promised a show for you guys. Until next week, peace. This week's Player Circle Spotlight is Haley Swain, 2025 point guard out of Atlanta, Georgia. This spring, she's been racking up Power 5 college offers left and right most recently from NC State, Mississippi State, and in-state Georgia Tech. Watching her play is like watching the trained assassin at work. 
She has a silky smooth left handed jump shot, superb handles and excellent court vision. Her dad is Robert Swain, former Yukon Husky and overseas professional, founder of the Robert Swain Basketball Academy, so you know she's cut from a different cloth. We're very excited to see her continue to grow. Keep doing your thing, player. There you have it. That's a wrap on episode 23 of the TPC Weekly Roundup. Be sure to like the video, comment some fire emojis if you watch the whole thing, share the video with a friend. That's really the best way for us to continue growing this channel. Follow us across all social media accounts, check out the merch, and lastly, download the Player Circle app. We have a fresh new update making it extremely easy for you guys to share your greatness. Until next week, peace. So just chill to the next episode.